Welcome guys to a review video for a little, little OBD reader which is very good for the VAG world it's called OBD11 Here we can see it so even though the picture looks like it's upside down the text is the right way around so it's a bit bizarre so we're gonna see what this little device is like in its box uh, and what it can do for the car so this is the little OBD11 box um, Pretty plain, normal recycling stuff on the side. Download your free application from Google Play Store, that's what it says. Um, that's the picture. And then the car looks like it's upside down to me, you know. It should be like that, but you know, it's not stuck on either, it's printed. And then underneath, a bit of jargon. Diagnostic device for Audi, Volkswagen, C and Skoda vehicles. Device connects to the vehicle's OBD2 port and uses Bluetooth to communicate with the Android smartphones or tablets. Works only with OBD11 application. For more information, visit obd11.com. So I'm going to open this box up. Um, I'm not going to show you because there's an activation code one side and there's a credits code the other side, which is for me, for me to use, so I can show you the video. So I don't want to give them away to anyone because you know, I want to be able to use them. So I'm just going to open the box. So this is what the box looks like. I've got my finger over the credit size, or my thumb over the credit size, and my finger over the activation code, because it's the OBD Pro. So that's your unit. Looks like that. And it comes with a little ring pull, which allows you to you know, pull it out of the OBD ports a bit easier. So I'm going to put that box out of the way, so you can't see the code. So I'm going to connect the ring pull as well, um, and then we'll get the app and we'll have a play in the car. So we are inside the Golf, and we'll have to apologise already for the glare that we're going to get when we look forwards, like that, um, because I have no sun visors because I've got the head headline right. So this is the phone screen, we've, we've installed OBD11 which I've got off of um, the Play Store. The actual device is here. And the Mark 4 Golf's OBD port is there. You can just see the pink bottom half of it. So we're going to plug this in. It's actually lit up and I did see a green flash. So I'm assuming that means it's on. So we're going to press connect. Uh, allow my location. Let's see how that's relevant. But yeah, we'll do that. Connecting. My Bluetooth is on. And since changing these seats, the airbag lights on as well, so hopefully this will be able to pick up on that. Do not unplug device from car while updating. Make sure your phone battery is charged at least 15%. Do not leave car while it's updating. Okay, so I'm going to let it update and I'll come back to you when it's finished, so I don't want you to sit and watch it. So it's done its update. Is my car beeping at me? Please refuel. <laughs> it's done its update, and it then asked me to put password in, and then asked me to turn the ignition on. They haven't missed anything just yet, guys. Now it's connecting back to the unit. So it's asking me to check my brake pads. Right. So select model. We have a Golf. Three door hatchback. To ask for cloth for washer fluid. Golf needs everything. So we've chose what car it is. Pretty clever. Clever that it narrowed it down to a Volkswagen to start with. No, I don't want to exit. So, now we've changed the picture at the top, which is quite cool, because it's changed it to a Golf. That's asking me to scan. So we're scanning. And it should hopefully bring some codes up, because we've got enough lights on the dashboard. <laughs> Let's quickly show you the dashboard. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A couple of them will go off when you start it anyway, but there's enough lights on the dashboard. Two faulty control units. And it says hold to clear the faults. Well, I don't want to clear the faults, I want to see the fa I want to see them. There we go. Oh, look at this. Engine, transmission, <laughs> brakes, air conditioning, central electronics, airbag, steering column, dashboard, Look at this just keeps going. Wow. 
tell you what, this would be really good on like a, a newer Volkswagen. One that's not um, as old as mine. Charge press control, engine control module ECM. Misfire detected on cylinder 3. Cylinder 3 pump injector valve. Electrical error in circuit. Cruise brake switch malfunction. Well, you can't got cruise. So maybe it brake light switch don't work. Cylinder 3 pump injector valve. This, this is... This is crazy. That's not going to give me any more information. It's intermittent. This is... Honestly, I've never seen something like this. It's crazy. Let's go to dashboard. Faults. Key signals to the battery is low in the key. This is ridiculous. Guys, I think I'll have to do more than one video on this thing. Where's airbags? Airbag. I've definitely got airbag light on. Now I've changed the seats. This is quite cool. Faults. Supply voltage low. Side airbag igniter resistance too high. Right, so if I go back, three fault control units now. Oh, yeah, it's brought the airbag or not. Hold to clear faults. Clearing. Now this thing not only like reads codes and scans and clears, it does programming as well and stuff like that which I don't even know how we're going to get into that at the moment but I'm just curious on clearing these codes. <laughs> clearing 3 of 3 apparently. No fault to control units but that might be because it's not running. So let's go to the top. So we've got home, car, look up settings, support vehicles, device. Right, so what else can we do from here then? That's a green coding adaption. I have activation code. Right guys, I am going to activate my device. I'll come back to you in a second. I'm only going to be able to show you briefly at the moment about like the coding and stuff like that because I haven't really learnt it yet, I'm still learning, but I have to do another video. So I've clicked on adaption um, on, on the dashboard module and then it lists things that I can change like the mileage since the service and the odometer but I can't quite change that. Uh, consumption correction, service reminder service reminder so service not due, one service due. So at the moment it's saying value of one. So if I do a zero and then hold down on the tick. Adaptions accepted. It hasn't changed the value on that yet. So if I just do it again, value one. Come on, one. So I'm in the dashboard module at the moment, and you can go for info and it gives you a bit about the dashboard and stuff like that, protocols and codings and stuff like that. Um, faults will list any current faults, there aren't any faults. Live data should give you any live data. Don't show me again. Um, so we can get live data of mobilizers and canvas connections and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Um, don't know if any of this is going to give us any information. But I've gone for an immobilizer information. Immobilizer. Engine stop permitted one, EC response one, key status one, number of adapted keys two. I think it's some range and parameters and that underneath, which is pretty cool. Um coding is if you want to change things, I haven't grasped yet. I don't I don't grasp how this works yet at the moment if I'm honest. It's like plus zero one brake pad warning. I don't know how you. I don't know. I don't know what this does. Um, I can't see any help functions either at the moment. So that was coding. Adaptions list things in the module that you can look at to possibly change, like your service reminders, speed thresholds. I think it'll beep at you after a certain speed. Let's have a quick look. I think that's what that is. I could be wrong. 
Um, speed threshold of the of the dynamic oil pressure system. See, nothing what I thought it was. I've no idea what that is. Come back out. Back into adaptions. Back into things on there. Key adaptions, time since service, minimum mileage to service, maximum mileage to service, vehicle data learning, tank characteristics. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to carry on having a play at the moment see if we can find something that we can program. So I've gone back to the main screen at the moment. No, no not on there. If I press on the car and go to apps, these are set, like coding things that's already been set up in the app that you can buy with credits, I believe. I think I've got 11 credits at the bottom. So I can change the language, I can have horn confirmation, oil service reset, Visual confirmation or auto lock. Um, so if I click on them, when it loads, activate or deactivate turn signals when locking via key fob. Don't understand why you'd want to turn them off, but you can apparently. Uh, auto lock. Uh, auto lock and unlock is exactly what it says. All your service reset. It just resets the light, is it? I, I don't know. Uh, make sure all service operations were completed as per service. Yeah, so just re. Maybe there's no other option. That just resets the service light. Uh, horn confirmation. Yeah, this is how it supposedly beeps. My horn even work? My horn does work. <laughs> <laughs> Activate or deactivate horn when locking or unlocking via key fob. Well, I think it'd be quite cool to have it unlock. So should I go tick? Hold to right value. Value not changed. Uh, why is value not changed? Now it's going to beep when you unlock it, apparently. That's going to get really annoying. But it's currently working, it's doing something. Success. And yeah, look, it's took me 10 credits. So activate to deactivate the horn when locking and unlocking. So, lock, unlock. Ah! It didn't beat my horn, but it sounded like my Skoda. Ready? Lock. Nothing. Unlock. It chirps the alarm. I like that. I like that. See? That's good. We've, we've programmed something. Although I'd probably want that on lock, and I bet I can't do it now because I've never run out of credits. See, I need to purchase credits. God damn it. <laughs> damn it. Damn it. So now it chokes. It chokes when it unlocks. That's, 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 that's quite funny. No, go away. I don't want to buy anything. I don't want to go away. Language. What does language do to change the country? Make sure ignition is turned on. So, ignition's back on. <laughs> My door's open. Oh, my freaking warning light is coming on now. Please refuel. There's brake pads, and airbag light. Oh, airbag light's off at the moment. Is it going to come back? Check brake pads. There's brake pad one. There's screen wash. They're all coming back. To be fair, I can top these up. Um, so then, right, back on here. Tough foot wash fluid, yeah, so you can change the language. So they're pretty cool things that's built in. I assume, depending on the car, you've probably got more things to choose from. Um, charts, no charts. Manuals, no manuals. Gauges. There's, there's, there's nothing there. That's not very good. Discussions, I assume it touched the air to a forum. And then info about the car. History, about the times it's been. Horn confirmation. Yes, these are the things I've done. We've adapted it. And then we're going to clear the codes again. 
Cool. So all in all, I actually really like the device. I think it's a very clever piece of kit. But I need to learn more of it before I can show you guys more of what it can do. Hopefully you've seen a little bit of what it can do with me. You know, like I've managed to program a chirp. <laughs> we've, we've programmed a chirp. That's what we've done. Um, but that that that's you know that's what that's what we've managed to do. A mirror bag light is still off. So at the moment we've cleared mirror bag light, which is pretty good if we fire it up. Uh, so nowhere back light, so I think we're good. Although it still sounds like a tank, doesn't it? So. Anyway, well that's it for this video. This has been my part of a review. I think it's a really, really good device. It's about 35 quid. Um, it can potentially do a lot more than other things at a similar price, so I don't think that's bad for its money, if I'm honest. Uh, I will happily do another video when I've learned what else I can do with it, and hopefully if I get like a newer Volkswagen, I can play around and program some things on. You know, then then that's what we're gonna do. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy with it. Thank you very much, OBD11, for sending this out to me. Um, I will be making more videos on this device when I know how to do more things with it. Um, if you wanna grab yours, the link will be in the description. Thank you very much, guys. I will see you in another video very very soon. Oh! <laughs>